Well, I have been doing lots of research or Googling on sleet this morning and how it compares and contrasts with icy rain and ice and snow. And the reason being because it has been sleeting here for the past couple of hours. And fortunately, sleet is not nearly as destructive in terms of power outages and downed branches and things as ice, which is um, can be so, so destructive as I've, I've shared with you many times before. You can see that it, it kind of looks like snow flurries and it might be a mix of sleet and snow right now. You can't hear it, but just a little while ago, it was, it was really noisy. You could definitely hear hear it coming down and bouncing off of the house and just different surfaces. So, but you can also see there, I'm looking at this blue atlas cedar outside of my kitchen window and you can see that it's not really accumulating on there. Thank goodness. We are having very, very cold temperatures. Last time I checked it was 11 degrees. And I'm hoping that this sleet coverage will provide a little bit of insulation. I could kick myself because you can see that one large topiary on the plant stand. I should have removed it from its plant stand and set it down. And I was just doing other things and didn't get to it. So um, obviously I should have been a little bit more prepared but I wasn't, so there you go. And these are my two little olive trees hanging in there in this north-facing window. They are starting to put out some new growth because I have resumed a very, very gentle feed on them and some of my other topiaries. So when I say a gentle feed, I mean a very weak feed. So just a little bit of organic liquid fertilizer in my water bucket and that will start waking up some of these plants a little bit. So this is basically what's going on today in my house. Not a whole lot. Um, it's kind of treacherous out. Hubs and I have a fire going and I did cut a lot of hellebores yesterday to bring inside before it got prohibitively cold. And then what I'm getting ready to do today is do some cooking. Yesterday I did, I made a wonderful batch of beef stew. I don't have it here to show you because most of it was consumed and the rest is in the fridge for Hub's lunch today. But it, I used the New York Times recipe. I just found it online and I added a little bit of tomato paste to it. And by the way, I, I will include that recipe in the community tab. Maybe Stuart can do a screenshot this for you guys so you can see which recipe I used. It was absolutely delicious. And I don't eat a lot of beef. In fact, I very rarely eat beef, but this is one of those occasions, beef stew, that I do love and I probably make it especially veggie heavy, a lot more um, carrots and potatoes. Oh, and by the way, in, in the recipe, it does not include green peas or celery, and I added both peas and celery to mine because I like it. So today, what is gonna be cooking in my kitchen from the kitchen cookbook, and we'll provide you guys a link. And Stuart puts the links at the top um, in the right hand corner. But if you can't see it, then just ask me for the link in the comments. And also definitely check out the community tab. And at the end, we'll try to put a screenshot this with my recipe for today, which leads me to my question for you. I could kick myself because I forgot to ask you a question of the day in the last segment. Um, what do you like to cook when it is snowy and really cold out? Do you have certain go-to recipes that you really like to use? Well, um, I kind of do beef stew as one of them. Chicken and dumplings is another one. Um, but today, the other day I was, I was at a restaurant 
and I had some absolutely marvelous lentil soup. And so today I'm going to make this spice lentil soup with lemon yogurt. I've really been into tzatziki and yogurt dips for roasted vegetables and things. I use some of those for Valentine's Day. Um, that was my hors d'oeuvre was roasted vegetables with uh, a yogurt dip. And this looks very healthy. I Because I don't have any bacon, I will probably make it vegetarian, much to Hub's dismay, no doubt. But um, for me, I can easily do vegan versions of just about anything. And so I'm going to do that. I, I do have everything else on hand, though. I love that. And I think one topic that I want to cover a little bit, and I would love your input on, and that is what you have in your pantry as staples that you just have all of the time. And typically, I always have lentils and, you know, canned tomatoes and things like that. So that may be a topic that we do maybe perhaps over the next couple of weeks because it's supposed to stay cold until the end of next week, I believe. Now, I must say that this one pot coconut chickpea curry also looks delicious. And I also have all of those ingredients in my refrigerator without even having to go to the store, including um, some of those more exotic spices like the garam masala and the cardamom pods. I really love Indian food and so because of that I typically have, even though I don't cook as much as I used to since my boys are gone, I typically do have those kind of spices in my spice cabinet, which also might get a clean out today. So I'm going to do that. Sadly, I don't have any fresh cilantro, which I adore because that would be really good in that. But I did make some batches of chicken stock last week and I've got some of that in the refrigerator. So this will be a wonderful thing to do on this very cold, cold and sleety, not snowy or icy, thank goodness, uh, afternoon. So I'm going to be doing that later today. In the comments below, please let me know what you like to cook when the weather is cold and inclement or other activities that you like to do. Because I think we're going to be housebound for a little while here in Oklahoma City and in this part of the country anyway. I heard Arkansas is, is really getting at parts of Texas and especially eastern Oklahoma is supposed to get ice. So we will have you guys in our thoughts if you are in, in the eye of the storm. And by the way, when I say storm this morning... We definitely, we, it was, it was a weird storm because it was thunder snow. In some areas there was lightning and sleet simultaneously, and then there was thunder sleet. All very, very, very strange. And it's very reminiscent of that horrible Arctic blast that we had last, last February. So, so far this is turning out to be not quite as dire as that, but nevertheless, I'm definitely keeping my fingers crossed and um, hoping that the weather gods are kind to us. So there you go. That's what's going on in my kitchen. Let me know what you've got cooking up.